Good evening, Tango Encrypt here, coming to you from the Cather's Family Land server. I wanted to give you this quick little video response for your cow farm because I liked it so much and it's going to give me a solution to a problem that I've been having with my pig farm. And yes, that is your iron foundry up there behind me, wrapped in the space needle. Alright, so, let's get to work. Let me show you what I've got. Your cow farm is right over here. Yes, that is a tree farm inspired by the one you did on the Moonlight server. All right. Right down here, as you can see, we've got your cow farm. Now, I had this design that I got quite a while ago from Exuma. I'm pretty sure it's Exuma, where it's just like, you know, five by one channel. Uh, my cows were originally in one just like it, and then I moved them out into yours, uh, into the automatic cow farm that you designed. And I had an idea. I really wanted, rather than having all of these guys racing around back and forth in this channel, um, they make a lot of noise, and I'm pretty sure that they're laggy on the server because the collision volumes, it has to calculate the collision volumes, whereas when they're all on this one by one cell, they're all happy. And as you can see, what I've done here is used a fence post. I had to sacrifice one of the exit points, you know, replace the sign with a dispenser, and that's how I'm going to get my water into the cell. And, um, you th but other than that, the rest of the design is completely going to be yours, uh, faithful to yours. Um, of course, I still have to figure out whether or not the water channel that brings them up around and down into the killing chamber is going to work on pigs. Um, if it does, great, then that's going to be duplicated over here. If it doesn't, then I don't care. I'll just I'll push them into a hole down there, uh, set a timer for two days night cycles and then assuming all the pigs are grown up uh, just dump water on them and drown them but uh, it is solving one problem they're all locked into this one by one cell and even though I've got the volume set at one percent you can still hear them going crazy and uh, yeah I'll show you how I'm populating the cell and it's really nice and easy Out comes Piggy, shove Piggy into hole, come downstairs, whack the corner, and the first one is always the easiest because the minecart, of course, there's nothing there. Oop. Ah. Pedal stuck. Alright, let's get this down here and shove Piggy back into the hole again. Come on, get into the hole. Get down there. So he's sitting on top of the other one. So a nice expedient, just use the water, cause him to hop, and then you can come down here and find that corner of the minecart, kill it, Piggy down, turn off the water, go get another Piggy, Oh, he's already in the hole. Hop on down, click on the water. That's going to probably clip the piggy, so come to this side and done. Grab another one. Rinse, recycle, repeat. Piggy in the hole. And that should be, this should be number three. Oh, left the water on, so he fell right down and try and time it when they're up and pop and there goes that turn that off and yeah this is doing a great job of collecting all the piggies putting them all in a one by one hole I'm filling them up to 21, 22 piggies per cell and uh, once that's all done a little bit of lag spike Ugh. This is one of the things that I'm trying to do is uh, do some lag busting here because I'm pretty sure those guys and the horses that I had here on the spawn chunks are absolutely killing um, the server in CPU cycles. So yeah, this is it and 
hopefully I'll have a little clip showing you what it looks like when it's all done alrighty it's done so yeah thank you Tango this is pretty much his design and as you can see the pigs are burning and putting in automatic uh, yeah putting in automatic cooked um, pork chops and I can toggle the switch and major lag spike okay yeah um, put them in and now they're putting in the raw pork chops so all the switches on the machine work uh, another big lag spike there uh, yeah the only thing I did was I swapped out the dispenser and put a fence post and put the dispenser on the wall in place of the torch all the other circuitry remains exactly the same um, I just I gotta make a switch and put it in here uh, that's gonna work just fine too all that does is just make sure that they this this block stays back and uh, yeah so uh, Tango I uh, hope you don't mind I call this the Piginator 4000 and uh, that's because you've got four spawning cells here so consequently the uh, Calinator 4000 because it too has four spawning cells uh, that's what I wound up calling it in my world this is Encrypt coming to you from the Cathars Family Land server with the Piginator 4000 adaptation of Tango's cow farm, automated cow farm have a good one guys Encrypt signing off As you can see, the pigs stand on a fence post instead of standing on the dropper. The fence post being 1.2 meters tall, I believe, pushes the pigs up. Their hitbox sits on top of the fence at 1.5 meters, and they can't get out of the cell. They can't jump up because it's they're not tall enough. Uh, you can see this guy doesn't even have a fence on top of him and he can't jump out of the cell because he can't jump 1.5 meters which is what it would take to get out and uh, you know turn the water blocks on and they'll be able to jump up and down like they normally would you can feed them all and the babies should shoot right out of here and into the water streams that are going to be coming down here in the bottom 1.5 meters tall gotta love those fence posts <laughs>